So I think the, the first question uh, would be, is, well, you're taking a new district, mm -hmm. and with a new district comes new challenges. Yes. Um, this is the first time that you've actually represented the, the Valley in Imperial County. Mm -hmm. So with that, what do you think are the challenges that you're facing, and how are you thinking of addressing them? Well, yeah, you know, I have a lot of experience addressing challenges to begin with, and I think it begins with, uh, you know, a, a certain approach that you need to identify what what the problem is and what the solution is. And, I, and looking, coming here, I, I understand that high unemployment rates are something we need to start working on. We need to start putting people back to work in California. Uh, there's some environmental challenges that we have associated with the Alamo and the New Rivers and the Salton Sea. And I have a lot of, of experience working in those areas as well. We're gonna make that a big priority as well. Um, Improving quality of life is always something that I, I, I try to uh, achieve. Uh, improving our schools, improving our access to better health care, those are, those are issues that uh, we need to focus on every single day and continue to work to improve. And I think um, in, our, in, our, in this next session, I think the number one issue is putting Californians back to work and everything that, it, that entails what that is that it means improving our universities, our um, community colleges, and improve, it means improving our high schools and the services we provide there. And uh, that's, that's going to be mainly what I'm working on. But my old job as a senator is also to support local government. I need to work with the, the people that are elected locally to ensure that their goals are achieved through the state of California's government. So, I mean, what is your uh your main strategy of going back. We spoken earlier where you were referring to the, the many communities that you're thinking of chairing or you're looking forward to being part of. Mm -hmm. So uh, could you develop a little bit of the idea of being of taking those endeavors, banking, water, especially especially water. I thought that was very interesting. Mm -hmm. The notion of you taking water, education, banking, and just kind of on that idea of, of why taking those those issues. <coughs> They're critical to me. They're probably some of the most important areas that I can work on to address kind of some of the issues that I, uh, improving our communities through education, improving uh, our communities through access to quality and affordable water. I mean, most people don't understand that water is an economic development tool. Providing water at a cheap and affordable uh, affordable price and make, making sure that we have high quality water is very important, but also addressing our rivers, our lakes. All that is an economic development tool. It's a quality of life issue. And, uh, you know, that's where, where, I mean, the sky's the limit of all the things we can accomplish working through water. And under the Senate, that's called the Natural Resources Committee. So I'm very, very proud to have, um, uh, you know, uh, the ability to serve the natural resources, and I'm looking forward to it. That's something that's not been established yet, but of course that's been my request. I want to serve in water, natural resources. I want to serve in education. I want to serve in transportation and housing, issues that deal with economic development, quality of life, and, and uh, uh, Veterans Committee as well, helping, helping to support you know, our troops, helping to support uh, the people that keep our, our, uh, our nation safe. Uh, all those, those issues, uh, uh, the other one I didn't mention was, you know, I mentioned transportation, housing, education, uh, water, veterans, and uh, which one did I, did I mention? Banking, I think. Banking, banking, banking and finance. That's the one you let off with, absolutely. Of course, uh, helping the small business, helping to get uh, uh, the, the early entrepreneur access to, to capital is kind of a fundamental issue to economic development. I want to touch lastly on three issues, which are partly the main issues that we have right here. It's border wait times. I, mean, I think we've, inter mm -hmm. we've had interviews a couple of years ago, border wait times, border infrastructure. Uh, and, and the other one that I want to touch is Salton Sea, but could we start with border wait times before border infrastructure here? Yeah. San Diego is, is leading the way. I mean, they do have a, uh, a lot of demand, but our demand here is climbing rapidly. It's just as important. Any, anything, I mean, uh, we have superfluous studies that show that reducing voter wait times lead to more economic activity in addition to improving the environment and introducing air quality introduce improving people's quality of life i mean we're talking about big big gains into our economy nine up to nine billion dollars 
in economic output for the state of California. And these are big dollars. I mean, this is, this, these are areas of economic growth that we can't artificially influence through any other investment. That, uh, that I mean, no amount of, uh, of investment in any area, the area can have that kind of benefit than reducing border wait time. So I'm working on my enhanced driver's license bill, which I'm, if I'm implemented at every border wait time, I've, at every border crossing, it, re it would reduce border wait times by up to 30%, which is a huge savings on time, but also the contributions to the, uh, the economy would be huge. Uh, we have a resolution that I introduced um, that would ask Washington to fund uh, all the unmet needs at the borders, which is about $700 million. Uh, for Washington, it's not a big amount of money, but for California, the economic output would be enormous. It would be immeasurable. Um, it, was, it was passed unanimously, bipartisan. If, if we send any document from California to Washington saying this is a priority to the state of California, carries a lot of influence, especially if it's bipartisan. And I think those are areas in the, in the uh, budget in Washington where we can actually have some success. If we organize, get together, and understand spe uh, specifically what, we, what our needs are, it would have a huge impact on that budget. So I'm very, very uh, pleased to be leading that charge. Um, and um, I think that pretty much covers kind of our, our work plan, reducing border wait times. It's got to be our, our goal for the year for economic Public private partnership, is this something that uh, you think that that's a viable avenue? The county's really, really mucking that up. How do you I think, I think it's, it, as long as we have, uh, you know, we can't wait for Washington to solve all our problems. And, and, in a, in a, and in a very austere economic climate, we have to pursue other means of fulfilling um, you know, our infrastructural projects. I mean, uh, that's, for me, that's really the only viable means of addressing the Salton Sea challenges through public-private par partnerships. How can we do that? Par partnering, up, partnering up with with companies that develop biofuels, for example. I mean, they, they, they're going to bring their investment, but we also have to facilitate their investment um, through a state you know, investment as well. So, that way we get what we need in, in a healthy Salton Sea and they get uh, you know what they need in, in, a, in a business and we also get fuel, affordable fuel and uh, renewable fuel. Oil reserves are running out around the world and especially in California our, re our oil reserves have been drastically reduced. They're always looking on finding new ones but when we have a renewable and sustainable source of energy just in our backyard that's untapped you know, it, it, it provides enormous potential. So, um, my last thing would be Salton Sea, exactly. The, what is your plan for this Salton Sea as it is? I mean, more awareness, it builds a year? Awareness is important, but also developing a strategy. We need a feasibility analysis. We need, a, we need, a, we need to convene the best minds that we have in science to understand the problem and get around what is the most feasible solution. It's easy to say, well, we need to remove the salt, we need to bring in more water, we need to extract water. Well, that's not necessarily a plan. You know, that's, that's an understanding, and that's great, but we have to find how to do that technically and more specifically and, what, and put a price tag on it so we understand what is it going to cost, how are we going to fund it. Are we going to fund it through ancillary development around the Salton Sea? Are we going to fund it through uh, investments around the Salton Sea? Do we need just a, one grant? A um, multitude of grants, maybe bond financing, to what revenue stream we're going to tie that bond financing to. There's just a lot of things that we have to develop in this process. So, lots of work coming up then. Yeah, but I'm not, you know, it's, it's exciting, it's, challenge, it's challenging, but it's exciting. I want to be part of the solution. And I want to, I want to put, focus my time on, on noble goals. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.